All right, guys, it's the law this week. Obviously, one of my favorite segments here. James W. Davison here for us for It's the Law. Jay, thank you so much for being here today. Good to be here, Sean. Awesome. So uh, the uh, biggest thing right now, I think, on social media, this guy got dragged off this United Airlines plane. They got it all on video. Public relations nightmare. Oh, right? my gosh. Terrible. Now he is going to, I think, probably sue United Airlines. So, so what kind of case like. does he have? It's some sort of uh, personal injury type case. So, you know, his damages uh, it is indicating that he's gone and gotten medical treatment to see what happened. So probably the medical damage that he's going to experience is probably not going to be that much. Most people know that in a personal injury, a lot of times car accident or something, you may, uh, you may nor typically get three times. It's not, a, it's not a law of anything like that, but a lot of people feel like three times medical expenses is somehow compensation for the damages and the suffering that you that you did. That's going to be very little here, so the question is going to be is he going to be allowed punitive damages. And punitive damages are designed to punish the instigator, the one who's um, taking these actions. So when you're looking at an airline as the one to be punished, then Billions the question gets, what does it take to punish an airline? Oof. So even though it might be a very, very light actual damages, punitive damages could get very big in a, in a case like this. And very interesting stuff. That was really my main question was, how much money is this guy going to make? Because you, I guess you have to look at, the lawyers would probably look at how much money United Airlines makes uh, each year, I guess, revenue If wise. you're allowed to get punitive damages, now that's going to be one, one thing. There's, you know, you have to show some, you know, extreme bad faith. You have to, you have to show some certain things, and that's a state by state basis generally. So it's going to depend on, on, uh, on the state law that, that's that's going to be in play. Um, it's going to depend on contract. What does the contract say about being removed, or do you have to willingly give a seat? A lot of people don't know when they sign all these long contracts what they do. Airlines typically always overbook, so the question is, what what can they do? They should have probably offered. Uh, a higher and higher amount to get somebody to choose to leave rather than try to forcibly remove them. Cause but it, it's going to depend on a, a lot of those factors on how much bad faith was in that. Yeah, no, because it was a ridiculous video. I mean, I know we, everyone has seen it by now at this point. I mean, to have someone being dragged down the aisle Straight like that. Straight up dragged down um, the aisle. Do you think that that would even be, I don't know, this might be pushing a little bit, do you think that would even be a little bit of like defamation? Do you think like he could like be embarrassed by that, like emotional damages or something? Well, yeah, he, he could look at the emotional. You're in, you can look at emotional damages in almost anything and because of the public how how large because everybody has seen it he could also say that um, this has had some sort of effect on him he would need a psychiatrist or psychologist mm -hmm. to discuss what that actually what effect that actually had but if he gets to punitive damages he'll get over all that he, he's going to be <laughs> what do you think probably in the millions probably um, if they if they get up there to punitive it, it could get to the millions yeah gotcha and that's why he hired this high profile lawyer uh, to do it, hopefully right. to be able to uh, get all this stuff done. So Jay, thank you so much for being here today. As always, we are looking for questions for It's the Law, so we definitely want to hear them. Email us, it's the law at 41NBC.com. Jay's going to do his best to answer questions during It's the Law. It's always Wednesdays on the news at 6.